Brooke, we are so thrilled that you are bringing a little bit of sunshine from California to Chicago, especially in January. Yeah, I'll try my best. <laughs> yeah, you've been amazing to work with. Thank you. Your food is incredible. And this one dish that we're going to do today is, you know, it's probably the simplest, but yeah. for me, it's like it really shows off great ingredients and what you can do with great yeah, ingredients. Yeah, this is like the ideal way to actually bring some sunshine to Chicago. Absolutely. By way of not weather, but flavor. So we're gonna do some Peruvian scallops here. They're tiny little scallops. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna make a super simple, uh, it's not really a vinaigrette, but a sauce to go over the top of these scallops. So I'm starting with some fish sauce. This stuff is strong, so I actually am not gonna add any other salt to this recipe because this fish sauce has plenty of salt in it. And that is the base, and then to that we're gonna brighten it up. Uh, I've got some rice vinegar here. A little rice vinegar just to cut that saltiness and add a little bit more tang. And then some fresh squeezed orange juice. You know where where I live over nice. in the in the California area. I actually yeah. have a tangerine tree in, oh, my, I love tangerines. in my front yard, and during citrus season, I literally like walk outside on my way to my car. I always pick a tangerine. Very and lucky. I think I thought of this as a way to use up some of my tangerine juice, and then uh, I'm just gonna sweeten it up a little bit. That that vinegar is very tart, and I kind of want the sweetness to battle a little bit of that saltiness. So I've just got mm -hmm. some granulated sugar that we're gonna make sure to dissolve. And to this, we're just gonna layer in flavor. I've got some microplaned, uh, just like finely grated raw garlic. A little bit in there. Mix that all in. And then same with some fresh ginger. Mm -hmm. To me, there are very few flavors that, that sort of add brightness and robust flavor like fresh ginger does. Right and that ginger is gonna just sort of meld into all of those. I just love right how there. simple this is. It's so really simple. Really super simple, yeah. yeah. And then because the base here is an orange juice flavor, uh, I like to use a little bit of, a little bit of that orange zest mm -hmm. just to really drill in that orange flavor. We're not trying to hide the fact that this is orange juice in here. I really wanna showcase and highlight the orange. And then, an ingredient that I use a lot of, and I think it's just very prevalent on the West Coast, is Fresno chili. Mm -hmm. So Fresno chili, it's slightly spicy, not quite as spicy as a Serrano, has a very sort of floral, fruity flavor to it. And this is gonna add a touch of spice, but also that really beautiful sort of red slivered right. garnish to the scallops as well. Yeah, I love how beautiful the flavor is without it being too too spicy. Yeah, because these, these scallops are so delicate, I really wanna show off the, the brininess of the scallops. So I've actually got a bowl of ice here, uh, some crushed ice oh, yeah. that I'm just going to layer on some seaweed just so that everybody knows that these scallops are from the ocean. <laughs> returning back to the seaweed. And then I'm just gonna sort of bury these in here. They're really best when served super ice cold. So I love even how beautiful these shells are. The shells are gorgeous. Yeah, so these come in a, a couple of different sizes. These are small ones. Uh, sometimes at Playa we get the slightly larger ones. Mm -hmm. We just do three of them, but exactly the same flavor profiles here. And I've got my garnishes ready to go. I just really kind of wanna make sure that the sugar is is melted. I'm gonna do a little chef dip. Uh oh. Delicious. So it is salt forward. Normally I would salt these scallops, but because of that fish yeah. sauce, I don't need to. And I just want to make sure that I get a couple of little slivers of Fresno chili in every bite. And I'm just gonna go ahead and layer that what on a there. Beautiful little appetizer. This right. Is be. I just think they're so like they're visually stunning. They're so delicious, full of flavor. Oh, you can just smell that orange coming out. Right? Oh. All right. Orange. And then I've got a couple of garnishes here for a couple of different reasons. Of course, I've got my orange segments just to drill in that orange flavor and then also just a little bit of added freshness here. And the orange totally makes sense. And then I've got some chili threads. Mm -hmm. They give you something to sort of chew on. Mm -hmm. They don't have a ton of flavor, but they do They do give They're you a beautiful. hint of flavor. They're gorgeous to look at, but more so I like them for the texture, especially when everything in a dish is sort of soft or one texture. They do add break up the texture a little bit. 
Beautiful. And then some flying fish roe. It's it's tiny little caviar pearls basically that have been flavored with yuzu, mm. the Japanese citrus. I'm adding this not only for the, the flavor that it lends, but also that texture. It's got this really yeah, nice great crunch. sort of crunchy yeah. poppy texture. And it's delicious. These are beautiful. A little garnish there. And then we've got one final touch. We've got some chili oil. Oh, There's a little bit of sesame oil in here, it. but mostly it's just sort of a, a spicy little last touch. Mm. A couple of little drops of chili oil over the top, and these are ready to go. And that's it. Beautiful. Ready this to go. Definitely warm us up uh, in the winter in Chicago. <laughs> totally. So. Thank you so much for you know being one of our visiting chefs. We are so thrilled that you're going to be with us, and um, our wine club members in Chicago are really in for a treat. So cheers, cheers to you. Can't Thank wait. You. Thank you.